Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this is the Rider platform where we speak truth to power. Um, what you're seeing before you is um, Governor of Abonia State um, lamenting the death of uh, of people in his state. Um, if I recall, there was some discussion, and Simon Ekwa did talk about this. In fact, he spoke about it on the show. I will be on Simon Ekwa's show this evening later on. Simon Ekwa spoke about this later on. And the reason why I'm showing is because I want us to understand that when you're thinking you're having a discussion with the Fulani hedge money and the Fulani terrorists, and you think you're talking about one Nigeria and you're giving assurances and everything else, this is a perfect Takia move. A perfect Takia move. They make promises with you only for them to break it. This is exactly what happened. And look at now the governor now lamenting. Let's watch the governor lamenting. Let's watch. Uh, it's not fun. Um, we all need to be alert. This can apply. Uh, this applies to Yorubas as well as Igbos and Middle Beltans. We need to be alert. These people need to be pushed out of our um, areas. We need to push the Fulani out. And the Hausas, I'm asking you, push the Fulani out of the Hausa land because they are oppressing and killing us. And this is a, what is happening in the Bonya state. Uh, listen. The people of uh, Ishelu local government, I got a very shocking news uh, this afternoon about the attack on uh, about four communities. Communities of Ankaleha, Obago, Amezu, Nkalago autonomous communities in Asia. Umu, uh, hmm. Yeah, Umu Hale, autonomous community. Uh, initially local government by uh, AK-47 uh, 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 herpsmen that uh, came. Uh, Did you hear that? AK-47. AK-47 is what you're referring to there. This is AK-47 carrying Fulani herpsmen. And, and we've said before, that the, the Fulani admin have said, they've admitted that the, the army and the, the government are the ones arming them. So here's the result of all of this talking. Uh, one Nigeria is not, this. forget your idea of one Nigeria. These people will kill you and take your land if you don't stop them. Here we go, listen on. Uh, yesterday and uh, killed 15 of members of these communities. Uh, we, we even think from what Simon was saying yesterday, if I if I recall, I, th I think I will probably ask him on the show later on. It could well be that the number is actually significantly more than this 16 that they're saying. And because they're very good at underreporting the real figures because the killings going on daily in, in Yoruba land, in Igbo land, in, in Middle Wales by these Fulanese, they, they are not recorded. And we need to be very, very aware of that fact. Now, listen on. I remember that about a year ago, we had an incident. Let me just. Uh, about a year ago. One second, please. Members of these communities. Yes, Dave Umahi. I remember that it. about a year ago, we had an incident of uh, killing of uh, two Eps men uh, within this same location. And uh, immediately the security agencies, local government chairman, and the community leaders all came together to condemn the attack and the killing. And uh, we immediately asked the security agencies to fish out the uh, people that did that. They didn't do it on behalf of the communities. And they did fish them out. And uh, as we talked, that standing trial in Ebony State. And uh, the community and the, the government and security agencies appeased the uh, helpsmen uh, and uh, made peace with them. And so it is very shocking that overnight, all the helpsmen uh, in uh, Ishelu local government vacated Ishelu local government. Did you hear that? It is very shocking that all the helpsmen vacated the Ishelu local government. This is not only exclusive to South East. This will happen in the Southwest and Middle Belt. 
all the governors, those of you still supporting this one Nigeria, supporting this full and killers in government, uh, you need to watch out. Too. Whilst they are talking to you to be peace loving, to be to we are one Nigeria, the one Nigeria they're talking about is the one Nigeria that they said their grandfather, Usman Afudio, promised them when they said it's their estate, grandfather's estate. And their grandfather, their, what they call their grandfather's estate is your land. It's Yoruba land, it's Biafran land, it's Middlebred land. We need to confront this head on. We must. Which means that the local helpsmen are part of the conspiracy of the killing of our people. Did you hear that? The local headsmen, headsmen are part of the conspiracy of killing our people. You heard it from the governor, Dave Umahi. You heard that from the governor, a sitting governor saying it. These are the facts. I don't know what more. Those of you speaking one Nigeria, I hope you are seeing when a sitting governor is telling you that the Fulani headsmen are part of the conspiracy of killing people, his own people. It's about land grab. I hope this evidence is loud and clear for all to see. When you see this broadcast, share it. They vacated despite all the efforts that uh, my government's governors of... See, they vacated. You know why they vacated? Because they came to do the job. They came to do a job. It's all Takia. They did a job. They've done it. They've gone. That's what it is. We in the South have to protect ourselves. You cannot expect your full animal to protect your Southerner. It is as simple as that. If you're put, it's like putting a, a, a fox in a child of a hen house. That's what's happening. It is time we stood up and protect ourselves. And this stuff, this is conclusive evidence that Amoteku is compromised if they're working with Mieti Allah. Listen on. Southeast and security agencies have been making to give them full protection, uh, not only in the Bonny State, but the entire Southeast. We feel so sad that this kind of thing should happen to a boy in state. We feel so worried for our country, Nigeria. We, 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 we are shut up. We've been telling you that Nigeria is a finished, Nigeria is end. Nigeria has ended. Nigeria is a, it's, it's, a, it, it's, 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 a, it's a contraption that has to be dismantled. We have to dismantle it because Nigeria has oppressed Southerners for 60 years. He has covertly, overtly oppressed Southerners. And now you are all seeing it. We've been seeing it. Simon Ekpa, uh, 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 Nandekanu, many of us, those of us who've been at the forefront of the Yoruba uh, resurgence and speaking up about Yoruba nation, we saw this, uh, you know, months and years ahead. And we've been talking about it and people were talking, we were talking nonsense. Now you are hearing a Southwestern, Southeastern governor, Dave Umahi of Ebony State, telling you what is going, that now making the same reference about Nigeria being in, it, 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 it's in disintegration mode. And he has to. We have to dismantle it. Listen on. Words. And uh, uh, good enough, we have some traces of uh, the sponsors. We have traces of those who came here. Uh, I will not disclose it, but I'm going to escalate the... You see, they have sponsors. Of course we know. The, the, the Fulani will only support the Fulani. Whether he is a Fulani terrorist, whether he's an AK-47 guy, they will support. And don't forget, Bala Mohammed was the chief protagonist telling Fulanis from across the whole of West Africa, the whole of Africa to come. Senegal, Gambia, uh, wherever, Mauritius, Mali, wherever they came from, to come to contract on Nigeria. What do you think will happen when they when they when they do that? And they're giving weapons and they're giving homes and kids are giving weapons instead of when they're saying they're going to go to go to Islamia schools. They're teaching them killing techniques. And when they graduate, they give them AK-47, which he mentioned. He mentioned about the AK-47. Listen on. Uh, identities of the people to the highest authority, uh, and uh, we wait to see what they will do. But we. Condem uh, do not, the authorities will do nothing because they are Fulani. Miyeti Allah have killed, go and ask Governor Tom, they've killed remorselessly in Benue. Nothing has been done. Governor Otom has been asking, they even tried to kill Governor Otom. Uh, um, um, Dave Umahi, uh, I think you better be, all the Southwestern governments, you have to be on alert. This South attack and South is governments. not only happening in the Bonny State, and that this country, if it is allowed to go this way, is capable of generating very serious, you know, civil war amongst uh, the... Uh, we are already there. You are just waking up now. We have been saying it. 
we have been saying it you and your fellow south eastern governors and southwestern governors we've been telling you that this is coming that this is going to be war we've been saying it but nobody was listening and now a sitting governor dave umahi of ebony is now saying we are capable to descend into civil war. Is we are already there in the forests across the whole of southwest is full of full army terrorists with ak-47 and worse many more guns and you guys said nothing. Now you are now seen. Let's carry on. Nation of Nigeria. So I want to demand from the security uh, chiefs. The security chiefs are the ones supporting Boko Haram. They're supporting Mieti Allah. They're supporting Fulani terrorists. They're giving them AK 47s. Is it not clear enough for you? Do you not understand what we're saying? Or do you refuse to accept the facts that is staring in the face? We need to protect ourselves in the South. You better wake up sharp sharp governor to fish out these people because they are well known fish them out let them that is the same thing governor autumn said he said fish them out and what happened nothing we need to protect ourselves don't wait for the federal government the federal government is part of the whole conspiracy listen on face the rot of the law it has happened in so many places and they were not fished out to uh, face the rot of the law, you and see? that's why this kind of thing is happening. You see, I want to appeal to uh, the people of these communities uh, be assured that we will get them, each and every one of them. We have the identities, we have their connections, we have uh, uh, the contact. Please stay calm and do not take loss into your hands. Two uh, loss will uh, never make your um, life. Um, um, yeah, you're saying that. Uh, we don't have any confidence in your ability to get, catch in each, and every, each and every single one of them because you are eating from the hand of the people that are carrying out the suppression. Let me say that again. You are eating, uh, Dave Umahi, and all of the other Southwestern and Southeastern governors. You are eating from the hand of the Fulanese who are, who are paying, who are getting the Fulanese into all our forests in the Southwest, Southeast, and Middle Belt. So you can't do anything unless you cut away from them sharp, sharp, and defend you your people you have to defend you cannot tell them to oh, not to take laws what do you mean so the people who have killed the fulanese who have killed people have they not taken laws into their own hand have the fulanese terrorists who went with ak-47 and killed your own people in your own in your state have they not taken laws into their own hand what are you saying your governor david Umayi? what are you saying what are you saying right so that you give us the opportunity and the the the, the 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 chance to fish them out so that it um, my people you have the right to life Ev under section 33 everyone no one shall be deprived of their shall be intentionally deprived in, of their life so that means that you have the right to defend yourself do not protect yourself protect your land full and uh, the fulanese are coming to try and take your land and you every southerner we need to have vigilante groups protect ourselves. And we cannot trust Amoteku. ESN is doing a great work. They're trying to neutralize it. Now you can now see why there's a need for a Eastern Security Network. You can see that. So I give kudos to, to Nam Dekano for bringing that up. Unfortunately, Amoteku in the south Southwest is com compromised. And now you can see a Bonnie state now falling victim to the very full and terrorists that they said, oh, they, we, they, we are welcoming them in our community. And the three people you welcome in have killed your own people and they ran away. They ran away. I hope this is a hard this is a hard lesson. And may the souls of those who are killed by the full line terrorists may their souls rest in peace. Peace. But what we need to do to stop it happening, we need to defend ourselves. We have the under section 23, section 33 of the Nigerian Constitution. We have the right to defend and the right to life. And no one shall in, be, shall intentionally be denied of their life. Be, uh, uh, should, should be intentionally denied of their life. No one. And that means you protect your life. So I disagree strongly with what Dave Umahi, this governor of Ebony State, is saying at this particular point. But now he understands what is what we're faced with. No, uh, uh, justice will be done. Uh, there, there is, forget justice. You, look, your idea of justice and the idea of the full and justice are different things. Let me make that very clear to you. Your idea of justice and the idea of justice according to the full and are two different things. As far as the Fulanese are concerned, Sharia justice is all they're interested in. Any other kind of justice you put before them is all window dressing. They are, didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? They are going, the, Babangida took us in 1984 into the Organization of Islamic States. And 
what they are planning with the Abuja declaration in 1989. Well, uh, for that, uh, for that alternative one in 1990 was to make that country, Sharia, that nation, if we stand together, if we're still together, a Sharia law nation. So this idea of justice, you need to be very, very clear. When you say justice, it's a very different meaning to what the Fulanis have in mind. Let's carry on. Uh, do not allow those who do not want peace in a point state, do not allow politicians who don't wish us well to take advantage of this and start writing all sorts of rubbish on the social media. I'm so sad about what has happened because we work so hard for the peace of this state, for the peace of Southeast and for the peace of this nation. So it's so sad. And I want uh, Once you're working for peace, the government has been putting money behind Meyetiala, Fulani terrorists with AK-47, giving them AK-47 to flood the forests all over the southwest, southeast and middle belt. So it's the government that you are working with that is funding these people. These are the facts. There's no need for anybody spreading rumors. These are the facts. And even the terrorists themselves have admitted that the federal government were the ones arming them. All they know is how to work out, they said, but the government gave them arms. There is evidence. Nigerians to condemn what happened in the Boeing state today, and we will not take it lightly. They must be fished out for us to stay in peace. And uh, I want to ask the helpsmen uh, uh, in uh, Ishelu local government uh, that have departed. I want to demand that they know them because they left the uh, local government without uh, uh, any complaints, without telling the security agencies or even the government that has been protecting them. So they know them very well, and we also know these helpsmen that departed with our knowledge. So Let, before you're talking now, I want to confirm something to you, um, Governor uh, Dave Umahi. Let me just show you an evidence uh, so that you can understand that when you're talking about other politicians, this is nothing to do with politicians. The people you need to speak to are the, are the paymasters who are paying you every month. They are the ones who are funding the flying terrorists. And here's the evidence. Don't take my word for it. I don't believe in spreading rumors. These are facts that I'm going to put before you. And I want you to have that. So I hope this one message gets to him, gets to Umahi, uh, Dave Umahi, the governor of Ebony State. If you know him and you can speak to him, please make sure he gets this message. Let me just put this one out. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Let me just show you what I mean now. Now, one second, though. One second. Got it? Uh, okay. Okay. Can I do that? Okay. Let's do something. One second. Okay. Properties drop down. Tips. No, not tips. No, it's not gonna let me do it, is it? Okay. Well, I'm gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, listen. Whilst he's doing that, I'm gonna play this for you. Let me play. Put this in here. I'll do this for you. You see, uh, I want you to play this for uh, uh, um, when you see this message. I'm plotting this here. I want Dave Umahi, the governor of Ebony State. Uh, when you get this um, broadcast, if you see it, send it to him. Put this particular point. Tell him that it, there's nothing to do with politicians trying to divide. It's the government. Listen. And listen to the words on the screen. It says here, I swear to Almighty God that the government is the one arming us. Make sure Dave Umahi gets this message. Make sure he gets the message. So if anything about it's nothing to do with politicians, it's to do with the government themselves. There might be the politicians, the Fulani politicians. They are the ones arming. They are the hard ones arming. And David Huma he has to go and confront them about this. Here we go. Watch this. Ah, you don't bag one letter that will remain one day catch King Daji at Adanshi by Allah when you see name Allah the Kira Yata Urina. So now you see it says here, I swear to the Almighty God that the government is the one I mean us. That's what he's still saying in full, full in, in full and language. Listen on. <laughs> So, let me go back again. I want you to see that bit. It says, we Fulani don't know guns. 
We only know cows and how to rear cows. That is what the full animal is. This is from a full animal. No? So, listen on. That's why I said, we full animal don't know guns. We only know how to rear cows. Uh, no, we only know how to how, know cows and how to rear cows. Now, listen on. Sani about a word in the guy, Aki. But to study. But he likes a better my area of the So, listen, cows don't give back to guns. I swear to God. We just sat down and were supplied AK-47 by the government. So, Governor Dave Umahi, the people you need to speak to is the federal government to ask them why they are giving Fulani youths under the guise of Islamic teaching in Islamia schools, AK-47 when they graduate. That's the question, Dave Umahi. If you're man enough to do that, then I will salute you. Governor Autumn has stood up. Are you going to stand up? We are waiting. Let's listen on. Even the AK-47. Go not get too low. Come look at some. Who come on life? I am not afraid of saying the truth. This is somebody down that was so-called reformed. He admitted that the government are the ones giving them the AK-47. So this is not about rumors from any politician. You need they gave Umahi the governor of a Boeing state. You need to go and speak to the federal government and question them. Why they are giving them AK-47 and why they are refusing to arrest those people who are killed, the Fulani terrorists who are killing, you know, killing, killing Southerners? That's the question. Let's make that very clear. Wallahi in the sir. Wallahi You see, I attended Islamia and when I finished my school, we were given these weapons. Dave Umahi, nothing personal, but we need to be very clear. You said you protected them, and the people you are protecting were the ones that the federal government and the government of this country has been of that contraption has been given weapons to attack Southerners. That's the facts. These are what the facts staring you in the face. Let's listen on. <laughs> So saying I'm wondering what do my life. I'm not in, what I would do in my life. Now, right? I, 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 that is um, I'm not interested in that. But so anyway so that's the story there so dave umahi please i urge whoever can get this message to dave umahi tell him to watch this video tell him to watch the particularly the part he was talking about because i'm going to bring you back to where he said oh uh, uh you know uh, politicians i will try and bring you back to that point and then let's we'll finish it up from here let me just go back there one second of rubbish and the social media listen i'm so no, no, no. Here we go. chance to fish them out so listen, that listen now. you know uh, uh justice will be done uh do not allow those who do not want peace in a point states do not allow politicians who don't wish us well to take advantage of this and start writing all sorts of rubbish now let me pause it there now when he says that the next time you hear him say that oh sugar one second I've got it here somewhere. Okay. One second. This next time you see him say that, please make sure he listens. Tell him about this bit. You can see it on the screen. You can see it on the screen. I urge you to play back what I did earlier on, but you can see it here. It says, I swear to Almighty God that the government are the ones arming us. So this is nothing about politicians spreading rumors or lies. These are facts. This is by the somebody who so-called reformed Fulani terrorist. He said the government are the ones arming them. Please show that fact. Now let's listen on. I'll forward on to what he's saying again. I'm not going to go. Let's forward on to. So just so. And the social media. I'm so sad about what has happened because we work so hard for the peace of this state, for the peace of Southeast and for the peace of this nation. And whilst you are doing that, whilst you are working so hard for the peace of this of this state and the peace of this southeast and this nation, the federal government was arming Fulani terrorists with AK-47. Don't take my word for it. Let me forward it to where it shows you. You see here, here. You see, cows don't give birth to guns. I swear to God. We just sat down and were supplied AK-47 by the government. So that is not rumor. The governor, Dave Umahi, that is not rumor. This is fact. Please read it. Uh, listen to the video. You see? you see, we were given AK-47. The same AK-47 that you were talking about. Same AK. 
Let me let me go back again. Let me go back again. Let me go back again. So we fullers don't know guns. We only know cows and how to wear cows. guns. I swear to God, we just sat down and was supplied AK-47 by the government. Please freeze frame this bit. If you are in a bony, freeze frame this one. Make sure Governor Dave Umahi, uh, he gets this one. David Umahi, or I think it is called. Make sure he gets this one. Make sure. So any ass assertion about any rumors or any... No. The federal government, they've been arming. Governor Otto has confronted them that they're supporting Mayotia in the killings they're doing all over the southwest, southeast, middle belt. And they're not being arrested. So you, the people that you say you believe are in government, they're the ones behind this. They're the ones. And what are you? It's time the governors of the Southwest, Southeast understand that the people who they call so-called in government, the Fulanese in government, are the ones supplying these people with guns. Supplying Fulani terrorists with guns. Boko Haram with guns. And denying our army the weak equipment they need. These are the facts. So please make sure he gets his message. Um, there's no um, malice intended in this. It's just to make him aware of the facts. So when he's speaking sometimes and he's saying things, we need to confront it with evidence. Strong, clear evidence. Here we go. So it's so sad, and I want Nigerians to condemn what happened in the Bonnie State today, and uh, we will not take it lightly. They must be fished out for us to stay in peace. And uh, I want to ask the helpsmen uh, uh, in uh, Ishelu local government uh, that have departed. I want to demand that they know them because they left the uh, local government without uh, uh, any complaints, without telling the security agencies or even the government that has been protecting them. So they know them very well, and we also know this helps me. Even the government. Let me play that back again. Listen now. Complaints without telling the security agencies or even the government that has been protecting them. See? So they know them very well, and we also know these helpsmen that departed with our knowledge. So it's a total conspiracy. It is well orchestrated plans to kill our people. There you go. And part of the conspiracy and part of the killing is the federal government supplying full and terrorists that you are protecting with AK-47. Do you get it? Do you guys get it? This message is not only for Dave Umahi of Ebony State. It's for all the Southwest, Southeast, and Middle Belt governors. These people are funding terrorism. The people in the federal government of Nigeria, they are funding terrorism. So you, you, until you face that fact head on, nothing will change. And we, that's why I'm hoping that you, by seeing this video, you will wake up and realize that we need to stand together in the South, South. Uh, middle Belt, Southwest, Southeast, together rapidly and push out the full and terrorists that have been supplied by the federal government of Nigeria that likes to talk about one Nigeria. You cannot get one Nigeria by killing Nigerians. You understand me? You cannot get one Nigeria by killing Nigerians. If you are killing Nigerians, then you are dismantling Nigeria. The only thing they want to do is to kill Nigerians so they can then populate the land of Nigeria, uh, the, the land of the way you have Bibles, you have Bear France and Middle Belt, you, the, populate it with Fulanis, and then they call it Nigeria. That's not, that's not Nigeria. Because the natural people of the people would have, would, have been going off if we, would have been wiped out if we don't stand up. We need to stand up. One Nigeria is a, it's a fraud. It's a fraud. We do one Yoruba nation now, Biafra nation now, Middle Belt nation now. No, I'll just leave it. Let me play that out to, to see, just to make sure. And uh, we demand justice. We demand justice. We demand justice. Just like Governor Otom has been demanding justice. Has he got it? He knows. He's asked him. It won't happen. Uh, Dave Umahi. Uh, it, David Umahi. I hope I'm saying it right. It, it, you're not going to get justice. What you need to do is protect your people from here on. Forget about justice now. Not, don't that this government. Sharia law will not give you justice. I'm telling you. So, here we go. So, let me just finish that off now. We demand justice. Thank you very much. So, anyway, so that's that story. Um, please, when you get this broadcast, please share, share, share. Subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube also. Really important. Thank you for watching. You're watching Citizen AY. The